Stay Guruvi and Amaga children. Welcome for online class. 11 standard children, you are welcome for this class. We are going to see today unit 2 pros. Okay children, I believe and I hope that you are all hale and healthy in this period. See, I am happy to take this. This is an interesting uh, chapter for you which is about sports. Now everybody will be liking PT period and especially for the sports and some will love uh, cricket, some will love uh, uh, golf and so many games are there and you have your own interest. Today we are going to see the lesson uh, related to the match boxing and you know that who is uh, a women uh, boxer who got a gold uh, medal and other medals and so many and she brought a laurel to our India. Yeah, it is nothing but MC Maricom. You know that MC Maricom? Yeah, you would have known about her a lot. And she is very specialized in boxing and she brought laurels to our India. So here uh, the lesson, this had been written by herself, her own experience when she was going for the sports and what all the experience that she felt she was sharing in her book and that from that book an extract is taken to us and that we are going to see in this lesson. So the lesson name is The Queen of Boxing written by MC Maricom. Okay, warm up. We use various sports equipment to play different indoors and outdoor games. Now associate the following sports equipments with their corresponding sports or games. So we have so many things here, uh, spear, racket, pawn, puck, stump, bow, arrow, club, or striker, saber, dice, baton, like that. Have you won? Have you won any medals? What are the levels to be accomplished to become an international sports person? So have you won any medals, children? So yeah, so many are saying that yes. Yeah, you would have got in your running race, or in your football or in your hockey or in your basketball or whatever the game you love. What are the levels to be accomplished to become an international sports person? So if you want to achieve an international sports person, it cannot be got in very easily. So you have to do a lot of hard work. So now you have to do a hard work and then only you can achieve a and daily effort must be there and routine or practice must be there. Then only you can reach that place. What is your favorite sports? Do you play any sports? What is your favorite sports? Do you have any sports? Yes. In India, the number of women pursuing careers in sports is considerably less when compared to men. What do you think or the reason? Discuss with the partner and share the ideas with the class. Regardless of the challenges faced, some women have achieved great success in the field of sports. Here is a list of Indian women celebrities. So we have Indian women celebrities in sports who are accomplished in the field of sports and games. Match their names and sports. So you, I have given the exercise. You can do it in the textbook and you can send to me. Okay. See, before the thing, we will see about the author and then come for the lesson. Okay. Here, who is the author? It is Mary Com. Magnet Chaman Mary Com is a boxer and the winner of five world boxing championships. So five world uh, championship she got and an Olympic bronze medal. In Olympic she got bronze medal in the year 2012. As a school girl, she used to play a variety of sports, hockey, football and athletic inspired by Manipuri boxer Dingo Singh who won a gold at the Asian Games in 1998. So Dingo Singh who got gold medal in the Asian Games in 1998 that inspired her when she was in the school and that made her to go for many sports 
And what are the sports she had participated? You can see that hockey, football and athletic inspired by Manipuris. Okay. Mary Kong took up boxing. So at last she took up as boxing as her game and she won the first medal of silver in Pennsylvania, USA in 2001. She is the only women boxer to have won a medal in each one of the six world championship. So she took a, uh, as a boxing as her own game and she won the first medal of silver. She got first medal, silver medal, uh, Peninsula USA in 2001. She is the only women boxer to have won a medal in each of each one of the six world championship. So she went for each uh, uh, six, uh, sorry, six uh, championship. She got it, and she went for six uh, world uh, championship, and she won in all the six. She was the only person to get. She was honored with Badma in 2010. She got an award Badma in 2010 and Badma Bhushan in 2013 uh, for her wonderful achievement in the field of sports. So she achieved in the sports, wonderful uh, achievement in the sports. So she got praises. What are the pra awards she got? Mm, Badma in 2010 and Badma Bhushan in 2013. Then she wrote an autobiography, Unbreakable. So she wrote autobiography, Unbreakable, in the year 2013. So she wrote Unbreakable in the year 2013. From that only we have taken some part for, as an extract for this lesson. It is very clear children, shall we move to the lesson? Okay. The autobiography of accomplished sports persons are rebuilt with the challenges they faced and their single minded pursuit towards their goal. Such a book is sure to make an interesting as well as an inspirational read. Now, read and expect from MC Mericom's autobiographical Unbreakable. So, she had wrote an autobiography, it is unbreakable, from that the extract has been taken and we are going to read. Okay, so she is uh, just saying, soon after the Bangkok championship, I was selected in the 48 kg category for the International Boxing Association. Originally the association internal D-Box Amateur, so here. She had uh, won a uh, game in Bangkok championship in Bangkok. She went for a match and there she just won a championship and after that she was selected in the 48 kg category for the international boxing and association. Originally the association international D boxing amateur. So they call this as D Marche amateur. So like that it is a name, international game and it was there that the abbreviation for that is. So this is an abbreviation, AIBA that is an abbreviation in your uh, exam you will be tested in abbreviation. So note this word and you can have in your notebook, okay. World Women's Boxing Championship in Peninsula, USA in November, December 2001. So she went in 2001, November, December and she participated there and she won a medal there. So here when before going that she had a struggle and what is the struggle she faced? She was just sharing her feelings. My father managed to collect only rupees 2000 for my trip. I was both upset and very worried because I had heard of so here she is very much worried. So she had to go to USA and that is to Peninsula, that place. From India to USA she had to travel and the cost there was very much expensive and she was, her father was able to spend only 2000, that too he managed with so much struggle and only 2000 for a trip was given to her. So you can see how she is boxing. 
can see oh Mericom is boxing ok we will see how expensive things were in America but there was nothing my parents or I could do so except 2000 their parents couldn't do anything and she was not able to do I spoke to Onla one of my friends Onla who is her friend one of his friends she had many friends and Onla is one of her friend and she was sharing a feeling to uh, 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 to her friend I spoke to Onla one of my friends about my problem so she was still sharing a problem with this friend with her friend and she invited a few students and elders so he invited Onla invited uh, his friends and some of the elders and who went to meet the two members of parliament and seek their help so they went to the member of parliament's MPs there in that place in and around and they were just sharing their uh, feeling only uh, this uh, woman is going for uh, participate but she is having only 2000 rupees and you know those people donated rupees 5000 and 3000 one given 5000 the other one given 3000 and respectively and I suddenly add 10,000 so 5 plus 3 8,000 and our, already she was having her father gave 2,000 so totally she got 10,000 in her hand so now she got 10,000 in her hand so you understood children your parents is giving your textbook paying the fees and so doing something suppose if you were going for a sports they are ready to offer the thing but think over in a poor situation and she was not having money with somebody's money she was started a journey for a sports so she was just got 10,000 in her hand with this princely sum so she 10,000 is a princely sum for her she felt that it is a huge amount for her and a little more that had been collected and little more had been that had been collected from people so they have been collected from the people those who live in their own area are left for the US so she left for the US so totally she got 10,000 in her hand and some other money collected from in and around of her na na uh, place where she was residing and they also helped her. the neighbors helped her a uh, little amount and I left for the USA I was relieved to have money in my pocket so she was little happy that she was having a money in her and okay in my pocket I knew that I could not come back empty handed after all the efforts that people had made on my behalf. So here she was thinking so many helped me and I have just got their money and just going without a medal I must not return to the place. So that was the promise or a hope she had taken and she went for the sports to USA to participate there. Okay. Then Peninsulania was cold and beautiful. It was snowing. We were confident to the sports arena. But what little I saw was pleasing to the high. The people were enormously nice too. It was first time in my life that I had traveled so far. I was looking forward to seeing what America was all about. But since we, we were the last team to arrive, we went straight to the sporting area, arena from the airport. So we will we'll see what is it. See they went to USA and to, they went to the place called Peninsula and it was cold and beautiful. It was looking very beautiful and it was very cold and it was snowing. It was snowing everywhere. We were confident to the sports arena. So they were confident in the sports arena but what little I saw was pleasing to the highs. So she saw something pleasing to her highs in that place. Some little things she had found. What it is? The people were enormously nice too. All the people were nice. They were dressed up well. They are very fair, beautiful and see nice too. It was the first time in my life that. So it was the first time in her lifetime that I had traveled so far. So she had traveled so far. That was the first time she had made a long distance travel. Okay. I was looking forward to seeing what America was all about. 
and so long towards an imagination how america will be and so many uh, things running in her mind but now she will she was in america and she was seeing uh, the place in her own eyes but since we were the last team to arrive you see other teams all arrived well in advance and they were the persons for the last they were the last team to arrive in that place we went straight to the sporting arena so there will be a place where sports will be taking place they went straight to that place from the airport from the airport they went straight to the sports arena where the sports will be taking place they have to do entries and other things all will be there so they there is having the thing and they have to do so till this it is very clear to you children the other the other teams had already completed their weight in which is compulsory for all players so no it is a weight category so they have to go for their weight height and other things and all to be checked and see they have to go for a weight and others all completed and as they went that uh, the, they were the last so they they were just going to the place which is compulsory for all players so, so participating all the players have to be checked their weight I was tired and suffering from jet lag. Do you know what is jet lag? What is jet lag? You know that when you travel from one place to the other. So if you're just flying from India to USA, there will be a change in the time and in the la latitude uh, things. And because of that, see sometimes if you will be started your journey in the night and there also will be night when you are going in the morning actually you have to go in the morning or if you started your journey in the morning there it will be a night so you have to see the night but there there will be a morning so there will be a time change in the thing and as she was very tired traveling it had been morning when I left and here it was morning again. So what is the problem? She travel started morning and there also again in the morning. Actually it must be night. But when she went there it was morning. And you can understand the problem. So morning if you travel at night you have to sleep. And again if you are having a morning and it will be a new day start there. And you have to go for the thing. You will not have time to take rest. Okay, so after weighing in, I found out that I did not have any match that day. So, luckily, she didn't have a match on that day. You just think over if she had out of here, they're tired and uh, jet lag, she would have not uh, placed any praise. At, uh, yes or no? Yeah, so luck, she, was, she had a, some luck. I found out that I did not have any much, any match on that day. So, she didn't have a match on that day. I was fortunate, but some of the teammates were not so lucky. So I was fortunate, she was lucky and she was having some fortunate, she was really lucky we can say. But some other teammates, so in her team some were having match and she was, they were unlucky. Mates were not so lucky. I was able to rest well enough to face my opponents. So now she is very ready to face their opponents. I was able to rest well enough. So she had one day time and in that time she was able to take rest. So there was no match for her on that day. So that is a luck. But the teammates who came along with her, they had a match. So they are not lucky. So she is lucky and that people are not lucky those who had match. So she was telling that. I was able to rest well enough to face my opponent in the round which I won comfortably. So she need rest and she have to take rest so that the next day match in the round she have to get placed otherwise she will be missing it okay so which i won comfortably my fear of facing new opponents quickly vanished so my fear of facing new opponents quickly vanished so now she was confident and she was having all fear how oh, uh, first uh, our opponent how oh, I'll be meeting uh, immediately how oh, I can meet like that so much fear about meeting the opponent she had but now quickly it had gone the fear had been vanished it had gone 
I competed in the 48 kg in this championship while teammates lost one after the other. I went on to the reach the finals. I was even awful of winning the gold. The boxes were not unbeatable as I had earlier thought. So what had happened? She had competed one by one and she won. And her teammates, those who went, they lost one by one the match. So they all lost and she alone was. And now she, she was having a confidence that surely she will be getting a gold medal. But... Okay, she felt that she will be getting a gold medal. So whether she had got. I felt like this would be the place, the event that would change my life. I kept telling myself I can face anyone in the ring. In the quarterfinal, I defeated Nadia Omki of Nadia Okim of Poland by RSC, referee stopped conquest, applicable if the referee feels one of the boxer is inferior to the other and risk getting hurt badly. And in the semi-final, I defeated Jemmy Bale of Canada by 21-9. I reached the finals but lost to Ulla Sarin of Turkey by 13-5. So here she was just placement she was talking about in this paragraph. She felt that she would be placed and she would be getting a gold medal, but it was not possible. The event that would change my life, so it had changed her life. She was um, thinking that confidently she is going to get a gold medal, but some changes had been taking place. Let us see what, is, what it is. I kept telling myself I can face anyone in the ring. So she was telling that, uh, she used to tell that I can face anyone in the ring. It is not a problem at all for me, she said. In the quarterfinal, I defeated. So in quarterfinal, she defeated whom? Nadia Omki. Nadia Okmi. So Nadia Okmi had been. So she had been uh, defeated by Mericom. And Nadia Okmi of Poland by RSC referee. Stop contest applicable if the referee feels one of the boxes is inferior. So, the referee was, uh, say can stop anybody. If he feels that the one who is participating is going to hurt or getting hurt and he is not uh, able to go and fight with the other opponent. So, it will be with the opponent it is not possible and they will be get hurted. No, he will be stopping and giving a declaration. So stop contest uh, pickable if the refer that the RSC means referee so stopped contest referee stopped contest Ap applicable if the referee feels one of the boxer is inferior to the other and risk getting hurt badly so you can stop that is called as RSC so RSC is an abbreviation you may be I, I, I asked in the exam RSC means referee stopped contest. In abbreviation, you are having one mark you can score. So here RSC means referee stop contest and it is applicable if the referee feels one of the boxer is inferior to the other opponent. Other and risk getting hurt badly. And in the semi-finals, I defeated Jemmy Bale. So here first uh, she was uh, defeated in the quarter-final Nadia Okmi and of Poland. And then she had been uh, gone to semi-final and she had defeated, defeated Jemmy Behal of uh, Canada by 21-9. She defeated Jemmy Behal of Canada by 21-9 and she reached the finals but in finals she lost to Ulla Sachin of Turkey by 13-5. by 5. Okay children, so this is the history of her uh, winning the uh, match in USA. And we will see that uh, she lost in the finals and she was telling and we will continue in the next class. We will keep a stop here and let us see what is happening in the remaining things in the next class children. Thank you.